City topping out with three wins from three. Shakhtar second, six points. Lot, long way to go in that group in terms of second or third, but City looking really good for it. Um, Neil, you're a manager. Two former managers with you. How would you go about stopping City at the moment? Tell me. Uh, very good question. It is, <laughs> a, it is a very, very good question. Time. Mm. You know, they come at you at all different angles, um, with genuine pace that really hurt you. I think you have to defend deep and try not to push up too, too high too early because force them in the wide areas, make them cross it because they haven't got a genuine big man in there. And I hope that your defenders are, are concentrated. But they, they hurt you from all different areas. Sané, Sterling, De Bruyne. Aguero's not even playing at the minute. They're still scoring in the winning games. David Silva. So from a Tekken point of view, they are you know, as good as anything in Europe at the minute. I still think defensively they have mm. the flaws. I really do. Although I do, we're talking off camera, the, the goalkeeper's made a huge difference. But then again, we all thought he made a big mistake by bringing Claudio Bravo in. Now they've got a goalkeeper of real quality. Has made a difference, yeah. Huge. Let's have a look at the goals that they got tonight. Two more for them tonight, Graham. Yeah, they, what you expect, you know, that they they play with pace, power, accuracy. Um, Kyle Walker should do better here. The fullback finds himself here. Watch his reaction when the ball goes in the net. Watch Kyle Walker. He thinks he should have scored. He puts his hands on his head. That's a poor header by an Italian defender. He'll get much criticised for that in the press tomorrow. But City are all about pace and power and accuracy. And, you know, you say, how do you stop them? When you're playing against a top, top team, they can come at you from so, much, so many different mm -hmm. angles. They've got so much quality. They've got five or six people that are real door openers, ones that can punish you if the other four are having a bad day. They won't all have a bad day at the same time. And that's what makes them really dangerous. And I'm glad you asked Neil the question, yeah. how do you stop them rather than me? But well, what would be your answer then? Um, I think you're hoping some will have a bad day. I've, I've mm. you know, highlighted the point that there's so many good attackers. They've got the hardest thing in football. They've got it right, the creators and the goal scorers. They won't all have a bad day. So you're relying on them having a slightly off day, keeping the one quiet who's having a good day somehow and exposing their back. But they've got a good goalkeeper. He's made a big difference. Are there. you changing your mind on Guardiola? In terms of his, in his his impact on the game, his philosophy, well, I, I, his it was, it was, ability as a it coach. It was always going to be successful, the City. You know, you're, you're competing against the wealth of a, of a country and one of the wealthiest countries in the world. If they were giving him time, he's always going to be successful because he'll always be able to buy the very best players out there. And, and City will, will, I think, win the league, the Premier League this year. I know it's early, it's October, but I think they'll win that. And they could go all the way in this competition as well. It's going to be a special team to beat them because... Mm. You can see on the front foot, they're as good as anyone now.